Welcome to part two of the Python Basics tutorial series. We're going to be going over simple math. The first thing I want to point out is on the left of your screen is a Python 2 Jupyter Notebook, and on the right of your screen will be a Python 3 Jupyter Notebook. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to show you guys the difference between Python 2 and Python 3 when it comes to integer division. So I just first I want to point out just basic simple math in Python. So in Python 2 on the left, and this will be replicated on Python 3 on the right, you can add integers together. 1 plus 1 is 2. We all know this. And I'll just run the cell in Python 3 just so you see. So if you want to do subtraction, um, where you have a integer 130 minus a float 2.0, and you'll get 128.0. And the behavior is replicated in Python 3. And you'll have the same behavior when you want to subtract an integer by an integer, you get 128. And then on, in Python 3, when you want to do the same thing, you'll get 128. So there's one difference um, with division, or there are a couple differences. But for this example, when we want to do integer division in Python 2, uh, 130 divided by 2, we'll get 65. Whereas in Python 3, uh, if you want to do 130 divided by 2, again, two integers, you'll get 65.0, a float. Um, in Python 2, if you want to replicate the same behavior that you get in Python 3, you can use the future package, which I'll go over in a future tutorial. Um, the next thing I want to show you is multiplication in Python 2 and Python 3. They're going to be both the same for the most part. So 2 times 3 is 6. Pretty simple. Um, there's also exponentiation. Basically, uh, to the power of 3, you're going to get an 8. And that behavior is, again, replicated in Python 3. Um, one thing that a lot of non-programmers may not be familiar with is the modulo. Um, and basically, this will just give you the remainder of some division. So 9 modulo 2, this is going to be a 1. And I'll show you a couple examples until you get the hang of uh, the modulo. So 8 modulo 2, this should be a 0 because you're going to have a no, no remainders. If you did division, it would just be 4. OK? Um, and the behavior should be the same in Python 3. OK? So. This is the end of this tutorial. In part three of this series, we're going to be going over conditional logic, um, if, else, if, and else. And that's it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. If you're curious about how I have two separate notebooks, one running Python 2 and one running Python 3, um, I'll leave a video going over how to do that in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.